Now, total economic losses from the United Auto Workers strike has now ballooned to $7.7 billion through four weeks. That is according to the Anderson Economic Group. As we have reported, demonstrating union workers are living off of $500 a week in strike pay. But today, I revisited a Ford worker who we interviewed at the very beginning of the strike. She says the journey has been tough, but they are in it for the long game. And even though you're in the middle of this fight, do you still see Ford as your future going forward? Um, depending on what they're going to offer. Shardae Akeem is a proud member of the United Auto Workers Local 900. She works for Ford. With two kids ages eight and four, she says it's been tough juggling bills on $500 a week in strike pay. How has life changed for you? We have to change our lifestyle right now. Fortunately, she has support. I come from a UAW family, so we all know how important this time is. We just here for the cause, right? We, we just want what's right. For starters, that means securing retirement benefits, protection for union jobs at future all-electric plants, no tears, and better pay. Corporations like for GM and Chrysler have employees under their belt who qualify for public assistance. That affects our whole community. And according to the Anderson Economic Group, which released new numbers today, total economic losses from the UAW strike has reached $7.7 .7 billion. We're all losing right now. In fact, Detroit's Big Three has $3.45 billion in losses. And moving forward, Week five is being called the danger zone because some suppliers could be forced to close permanently without financial assistance. Chardé says union locals are filling crucial gaps for members, providing diapers, formula, toiletries, and other daily needs. And banks are lending support as well. Credit unions um, who thrive off the UAW have been supporting the UAW by offering them loans at very small interest rates. What have you been hearing when you've been on the picket lines? Um, we get a lot of support, um, but we also have a lot of haters. Haters who believe they are asking for too much. As for support in United Auto Workers President Sean Fain. We all are supportive of what he stands for. With the holidays approaching, Chardé says that will be the toughest time on the picket lines with the cold and the snow. But she says the United Auto Workers Union is one big family and will stick together until the fight is over. And they have the contract they believe they deserve. But you heard Bill Ford say he wants them to come together. A lot of people want them to come together and end this so they can get back to work. And, and you know, credit to them for sticking it out so long, but we still have no idea when it's going to end. No, nope, but it's hurting the community as Absolutely. a whole. So hopefully they'll get a deal done soon. Yeah, let's hope. Mm -hmm.